Adresse Google. Pixel and Pixel XL is coming the new Android 7 One Nougat, the final version. And in this video, we'll have a look on the new features. You already see you have new icons, like a circle here, for example, or that you have the G tab now for the Google search, not that bar fixed on the top of the display, or swipe to the left and have now the Google cards. We're coming to the uh, assistant a little bit later here. And what I really like very much is that you now can have a long press, a long tap on the icons here and get something like looking like force touch so that you can say, okay, open a new tab, for example, right from here. I really love that feature very much. What I don't know, I'm sorry to say, it's really a miracle for me because this one you normally you can't touch and tap and it's just nothing happens. Here for whatever reasons on this one is now uh, starting the weather app. Maybe you know the answer, I really don't know, let me know in the comments. I can't wait for to resolve this miracle here. But. Let's have a closer look to more. You also see that you now uh, have five icons here, not the fifth one was also that starting the app launcher. That's now just done by a swipe here or swipe down once more. And I really find that better because it's more intuitive and you have space for five um, icons here. Good idea for that. From the center here, you see that you now start with that short view here. You have the first six icons, a second swipe, or maybe you can do just like that. You have the bigger icons here, and you also can edit them now. And this is going drag and drop, you know how this one works here. So just let go and drag and drop once more back to this one here. I really love that one. Yeah, and maybe while well, just here, just have a look at the settings. You have just this one here, all you have the gestures at the top. It's now, uh, especially with these, let's say, preview information. So if you want, for example, just have how do I um, watch my storage here, you do not have to click on that. You have more information here, of course, but the most important one is just here. Or if you're just in one of these uh, options here, you see on the upper left, this hamburger menu, and this one is bringing you to the overview. So you can just quickly go to Google or whatever you want to hear or have any other choice. Let's once more go into, let's say, storage here once more and go to uh, more even like that one here to start NFC or whatever you want to. So it's really getting better every day time. What I really appreciate is that you now have um, yeah, just small things like always on the top clear all just with one click swipe everything and especially you have now a split screen mode. So this one is once more you started with the task manager over here and drag and drop, let's say, let's uh, go to Chrome, drag and drop the title line to the upper or the lower end, and let's uh, do it like that. And then you can, if you want to uh, choose a second app right here, or just start it directly, like this one, you see you have now that split screen here, and that's working, of course, also in landscape mode, like this one. You can change the size a little bit, in some cases at least. Uh, do not know why this one is not working here at the moment. Ah, here we go. And if you swipe totally to the bottom or to the top, then you end the, um, the split screen mode. Um, then you have already seen a little bit about this one here, that we have new notification center and especially it's more combination, combination or combining more information. So it's more crisp, more better overview. And especially you can, for example, I have text message here, just answer right out of this one uh, here and send and then it's going to the other one here at the you see? So this is really saving time a lot and more intuitive ones more. You also can, if we are just here with that one, have now, I know there are apps for this, but now it's right out of the uh, Android system, block, for example, some uh, numbers, if they are spamming you with text messages or calling you or whatever, it's now built in fixed. And way more, of course, you have a better dose mode, you have a data saver to reduce the uh, data amount, the apps are, oh, 
simple, several apps, um, uh, everything you can adjust here much more better. I cannot show everything of this, but just the highlights, let's say like this. That's, for example, the camera interface here. I really love this one because it's easy and especially the settings also telling you're here in advance and you do not have to click in to see what's the uh, current setting I've done here. So uh, I really, and by the way, video stabilization, for example, here you can plug on and off if you want to. That's something you can't do with an optical image stabilizer. Maybe this is one of the advantages. I'm not sure why Google didn't build in an optical image stabilizer in both here. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, and these are just uh, some of the first uh, things I've uh, seen here from the new Android um, 7.1 from the final version like this one here. One more thing, maybe you can, of course, now have um, these... Um, new design from the folders you can do here if it's really something very big one I do not know but some of you told me oh I please show this one and yeah you have of course here like you know it uh, just this alphabetical sort you can search here you have the latest on the top here and let's compare this one so for example this and uh, yeah um, I really love the at first sight uh, we have to see more in the test of the pixel and pixel XL uh, how it's doing in real life in the wild but this is my first impression here for Android 7 by Nougat with a Pixel and Pixel XL. Thanks for watching, take care and bye.